This one's called Awesomeo. It's just called Awesomeo. I had no reason to say it like that, but yeah. Let's go. <laughs> what up, butters? What up? What the heck? Whoa! What a no? huge package! Maybe he's got a mail order bride. Oh boy, it's for me! It's for me! Who is it Some from? Russian babe. Sent from Japan. Konnichiwa. Wow! Oh. A package for me from Japan! From Japan? Well, what could it be? My birthday isn't until September 11th! It can't be. I mean, the writing oh boy, on that looks I've suspicious. Never had a so. big. I've always wanted to have a huge package. <laughs> Greetings. I am the Oh, Azimov it's Cartman. Obviously, Butters is gonna fall for it. I have been sent from Japan to serve as your personal robot. Just oh, leave him wow. alone. Leave Butters alone, yeah, that's right. man. He's a real live robot. He can walk and talk and everything. You're like the fourth kid I've told already. <laughs> oh my God, he's even laughing. My robot and I have stuff to do. You should tell Asimo all your most personal secrets. Asimo will not make fun of you or tell your secrets to other no. people instead. Hey, yeah. Well, I can tell you anything, huh? Well, let's see. Well, for one, I have what's called a hesitated colon, which means I sometimes can't control my sphincter. <laughs> well, nobody knows it, but sometimes I poop my pants, so I have to wear a diaper to school. Oh, no. You okay, Osmo? Dude. Yes, Osmo is fine. I have to take medicine for it every day. It's a little suppository I have to put up my rectum. No, I didn't even know that, this. That's very interesting. Dude. Tell Osmo more secrets. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, stop telling my parents him. don't know, but sometimes I get picked on by this one kid at school. His name is Eric Cartman, and he always tries to play jokes on me and stuff. Uh, Ooh. really? Yeah, one time he made me think a meteor hit the earth and convinced me to stay down in a bomb shelter for three days. Oh my god, yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, and then this other time, he pretended to be me on the phone to my dad and called him a pussy. And so my dad came home and beat me. Oh. Wow, sounds like this Cartman kid is pretty smart. No, he's not smart. He's just an asshole. He is. He's never gonna play a trick on me ever again. Thank really? you, Butters. Come you on. Think so? Carmen doesn't know is that I know one of his secrets. Oh, but I hope it's a Carmen good one. playing all alone in his backyard, he likes to dress up like Britney Spears and pretend he's her. He sings and dances around with a life-size cut out of Justin Timberlake. Huh? Dude, you what? Yeah, and I videotaped him doing it. Do you videoed it? Uh-uh. I've got the whole thing on tape, even him making out with the Justin Timberlake cutout. Oh no way. Yeah, and if Cartman ever messes with me again, what is Eric I'm gonna doing? Show that video to everybody. Then I'll have my revenge, boy, howdy. Did you just see him spin hey, there as he said is that? Where this videotape, Butters? Huh? Well, I don't know. It's around here somewhere. Oh my so what do you want to do now, Asimo? Uh, Butters, maybe you should give Asimo the videotape. <laughs> How come? No. Uh, because Asimo can, like, because what? it up for you and make copies and stuff. I am Asimo. Oh, that's all right, Osimo. Come on, I have a lot of things to teach you. Yes. Oh, my God. Eric is going to try and get his hands on that videotape. My robot friend. My robot friend. Anybody? Like I'm guessing the boys already know it's Eric. Friend. I suppose Eric is doing all of this to gain the trust of Butters even more so he can stick around and maybe look for the video without being suspicious of why he's staying over for so long. I'm guessing because Eric is an evil genius. If we're being real, this guy is S tier level evil genius, bruh. So I think that's why he's sticking around. My robot friend. See, si, your amigo. Oh, that's so cute. Did you the see robot. Butters and his friend Eric playing robot? Yes, those boys are quite imaginative. Leave it to them to find a fun way to do the dishes. <laughs> oh my god. That's so the parents awesome. already know it's Eric. Play all my laundry in one trip. Uh, Butters, Interesting. it's getting late. You should be getting ready for bed soon. Was your little robot friend staying the night? <laughs> well, of course he is. He's my robot, ain't he? That's okay with your mom, Mr. Robot. Osimo does not have a mom. Yep, don't you know nothing about robots? Come on, Osimo, you can put my laundry away. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's just adorable. It's good to see Butters finally have a friend that wants to stay over. Oh, I'm glad they let him have friends over, at least, you know. Jesus Christ, I can't go on like this. Hey, I gotta put in my suppository. Can you help me? What? Oh, yeah. Oh, up Remember his rectum. I I put that medicinal suppository in my anus? It'll be so much easier having you do it from now on. Um, actually, Isimo is not programmed for that function. Oh, no, it's goodness. real easy. I'll show you. Trader Matt. Weak. You guys are next level, bro. Who thinks to write this stuff? Yeah, good and deep. Oh, my God. Man. All right, Osmo, time for us to get some sleep. No way. Hey, you want me That's to teach gross. you some bedtime songs? Dude, was that necessary? Where is it? Where is it? 
Asimo, what the Sam heck are you doing? <laughs> what the Sam um, heck? Uh, Asimo is reorganizing your stuff for you. Now, Asimo, that is a bad robot. Wait, you on. can't do no chores for me unless I tell you to do them. You got it? Asimo understands. I'm going to have to give you a spanking, Asimo, so that you learn better. Robots don't feel pain, Just butters. Know, Osmo, that I did it because I oh, whatever. It. Okay, come on, let's go make some breakfast. God damn it, I have to find that videotape. Yeah, good luck, bruv. <laughs> this is a bit of karma for Cartman. I'm gonna go get some Sunny Delight. I would like some Sunny Delight too. <laughs> don't be silly, Osmo. Robots don't need to drink nothing. <laughs> oh my god, everybody's gonna die in this house, bro. <laughs> Osmo will answer the door. He's gonna die in this house, bro. Like he's not even offering him food. What the hell are you doing, fat ass? Dude, oh. are you still pretending to be a robot? Shh. I just need to uh, make Butters think I'm a robot for a little while longer. Why? God, God damn it! Who's <coughs> at the door, Osimo? Oh. Three boys named Stan, Cow, and Kenny. Stan, Cow, and Kenny. Please tell Butters this is Eric Cartman. Just, just tell him. Hey, fellas! I, I see you've met my robot. Uh, yeah, Butters. He's real cool. He's real smart. Watch this. Hey, Osimo, will you go get my friends some Sunny Delight? Yes, of course. <laughs> hey, Osimo, I'd also like some celery sticks chopped up two inches long with peanut butter and raisins on top. Damn, so I love you, Cow. <laughs> He's made in Japan! Also, yes, they're not gonna tell him. Oh, having your son over, Mrs. Cartman. The reason I'm calling is that Butters is supposed to go see his Aunt Nellie in Los Angeles this weekend. The boys are getting along so well that we were thinking of inviting Eric to go along. Oh. oh well, I'm not sure. Actually, Eric is still supposed to be grounded for trying to exterminate the Jews two weeks ago. Oh my god. Excuse me, I didn't catch that. Oh, but I suppose it would be good for him. Yes, of course he can go. I'll bring some of his clothes over. Oh, wonderful. The boys will be so excited. You two are both going to Los Angeles to visit Butter's Aunt Nellie. For how long? Oh, boy, my robot gets to come <laughs> to see Aunt Nellie. <laughs> Eric is not going to be happy, oh, bro. Boy, We're going to have the best time ever. Lame. Lame. <laughs> oh, they've gone. They've actually gone. Oh, jeez. Hey, Nellie, look what I found scrapping around the airport. Hi, Aunt Nellie. There's my little oh, nice. nephew. Can you bring any bags? Well, sure, but my robot is bringing me. He's in. got a little suit on. Just realized. Butter's new friend is a little strange. He, he really takes playing robot seriously. <laughs> there he is. Asimo, this is my aunt. Dude. Hello, it's nice to have you here. Asimo must dispense oil waste. Where is the nearest toilet, please? Oh, you wait. Oh, right through there, Mr. Robot. He is dedicated. You. Are you boys hungry after such a long flight? Nah, I eat on the plane. And Osimo's a robot, so he don't need to eat. Right. He's gonna die, bro. This kid is gonna die. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dude, he looks terrible. <laughs> He's eating <laughs> toothpaste. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Osmo is coming. Come on, Osmo. We're gonna go. Dude, he is killing himself, bro. Uh, this is not okay. <laughs> my robot friend. Butters, wouldn't you like to have some time away from Osmo? We could meet up later, perhaps. Hey, look over there, Osmo. <laughs> he just ignored him. That's where all them rich movie producers are come up with the Hollywood blockbusters have their lunch. Neato, huh? We need an idea for a movie that's a home run, a feel-good rump for the whole family. <laughs> hey, what's that over there? Wow, that's a really neat little robot you have there, little boy. What's he do? Well, really? he can do anything. Mitch, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Maybe that robot can be programmed to come up with movie ideas. Oh, my word. Exactly. Gentlemen, this little boy was kind of a bad idea, I guess. You know? robot. Excuse me, sir, but uh, that's not a robot. <laughs> it's not? No, it clearly has bipedal movement, so the correct term is computerized automatron. Seriously? Oh, God damn it. I thought he was going to mention the fact that there's a there's clearly a kid in a cardboard robot suit. But this is South Park, my friends. You know, we can't be too surprised. <laughs> you are the smart one. Well, regardless, I believe maybe this automatron can help us come up with new movie ideas. Can you come up with an idea for a movie that will break a hundred million box office? Damn. Um, okay, how about this? Adam Sandler <laughs> is like in love with some group. But then it turns out that the girl is actually a golden retriever or something. <laughs> golden retriever. Oh, no, perfect! We'll call it puppy. What the Lord. hell? Okay. Boy, Los Angeles Whoa! Is great, huh, Osimo? Can you believe those guys paid us a hundred dollars a piece for those movie ideas? How many you movie ideas? You should split that money with Osimo. 
After all, they were Osmo's ideas. <laughs> we got each other, and that's all we need, Osmo. But what are you gonna use this money for? Kids in third world countries. <laughs> third world, third world, huh? <laughs> Wait, what? I'm gonna send this money to needy kids in third world countries. <laughs> Uh, uh, you okay, Osmo? Osmo needs to rest. Feeling faint? Will you go Eric, bro, listen. Hey, there comes a point, G. Like, there comes a point where you're just like, fuck this, bro. Give me the cash. Listen, it's for an amazing cause. Butters, his heart is pure as gold. We know this. But, Eric, look at this. There's stacks on this table, bro. A hundred, a hundred a piece? Dude, I don't even know if I'm starting to feel sorry for Eric or what, but. Jeez, he's going through it, bruh. Go ahead and relax, Osmo. We've got another full day of pigeon movies Bro, he's tomorrow. stressing out. Pentagon? What's happening here? Gentlemen, ladies, we all know that we live in a... These ass... Okay, they're not they're not a-holes. These guys, they're gonna... They're gonna end up with Osmo. I, I just... I, I've seen the movie thing where they got the ideas. Now we have the military people. I mean, if they come across Osmo, they're gonna use him. I can just see it coming. I can see it coming. Time of uncertainty. The risk of an attack on American soil is higher than ever. Otherwise, why now, are they here? Two days ago, our intelligence department came across this. The Osimo 4000. What can I say? What can I say? I mean, this is South Park. Our sources say that Dude. in just one week, it has come up with over 1,000 movie ideas. How did they even ideas, find out? 800 of which feature story. Adam Sandler. What? No way. 100 times 800. 80,000. What? Christ. He hit over 80,000 on that table and Butters gave more. I think all of it to like third world cup. Oh. Bro, they hit 80,000. If that robot is designed for entertainment, then turning it into a weapon is unethical. Unethical? <laughs> Let me explain something to you, Mr. Scientist. If the Japanese fabricates one of them into a weapon before we do, Jesus, oh it would be Pearl Harbor all over again. But worse, with robots. Gentlemen, we're going to Los Angeles. I want that robot. And falls in love with a coconut. He's still coming up with Osimo, ideas. Great. Guys, take a break. I need a minute alone with Osimo. Oh, okay, great. Dude, Dude, and all that money is just, I mean. You are an incredible I'm robot, Osimo. I was just wondering, are you by chance a pleasure model? No. What? Well, have you been programmed to satisfy... Dude, chill. Animals? Dude. Well, yeah, we're having a great oh my time, god, he's trying, to, he's trying to Weinstein the robot. Rest. Oh no. Yeah, we're making a bunch more money. I can't believe it either. Bro, go save him. Not cool. <laughs> awesome. hey, oh go? my goodness. This seems to be so common in Hollywood. Oh gosh. Yeah. Oh, military dudes. Let's go. Move, move. Awesome. Hey, what are you doing with him? Are those arm and leg locks secure? Dude, poor secure, kid. Sir? Good. I don't want that robot mobile until I know. I should feel sorry for Eric now. This is crazy. This is terrific writing, man. The fact that it went from me not being happy to me actually feeling sorry for Eric, like powered itself back on. Dumbass is is a kid in a fucking cardboard suit. Run a systems check on your CPU. The fuck are you talking about, dude? I'm sorry, robot, but they want me to reprogram you. I'm not a robot, dumbass. I'm alive. What did you say? I said I'm a real person, asswipe! The robot, it thinks it's alive. No! It's developed consciousness. You're a scientist for the United what States military, you be? dumb jackass. It's a malfunction of its hexagraphical IMS or the interlaced BV system. Who made you, robot? I'm not a robot, I'm a human. Jesus, the scientist is right. Look, retards, my name is Eric Cartman. I live with my mom in South Park, Colorado. Dear Christ, they gave it memories too. No. Sure, why not? I'm not reprogramming a robot that's developed consciousness. Do I have to remind you of your position? Don't forget you have a duty to your country, Mr. Scientist. Oh, I want that robot's memories and consciousness erased so we can take it back to Washington. Got it? Jeez. Damn you all the hell. Yeah, double cross them, scientist guy. Well, yeah, that's yeah. The oh my god. God damn it, stop! I'm real, I'm real! It'll all be over soon, robot. Is that necessary? Oh. On. I'm getting you out of here, oh, robot. Dude. Oh, it's about freaking time, jackass. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I, I'm saving a conscious being. If you want to kill it, you'll have to go through me. Dude, you're gonna get shot. Don't Fine. do that. Kill that son of a bitch. No, no. look, goddammit. Now I can show you stupid assholes who I really am. Take it Osimo. off. 
Oh. I am the Asimo 4000. No. No. No, please. Don't kill him. <laughs> there. You see? You want to tell me this isn't humanity? Dude, what kind of gun did Who they shoot you with? Judge what makes something human anyway. Does this make me human? Yes. Or this? Or these? I mean, yes. We can learn from the robots. I think maybe one day we can all... I mean, yeah. Huh? Wait a minute. Did, did that robot just fart? Oh, and it, it smells too. That <laughs> sequence initiated. A robot with smelly farts? That doesn't make any sense. Dude, <laughs> what? <gasps> it took him farting for you to realize. Oh, Would no. You like to touch my body? Touch my oh, butter. <laughs> Oh no, even those dudes. Ooh, Justin, yes. I wonder where it was hidden this whole time. Dude, oh my lord. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Look, I will say I am happy that Butters did end up showing the video to everyone. But at the same time, I'm like, Eric was kind of good to you, bro, for these past whatever uh, days you've been together. So would you... With the goodness of your heart, Butters, would you really do that? I guess I guess he took it a completely different way. And he was like, hey, you're trying to screw me over. So have some of this. Have some of your own medicine, bro. Oh, my goodness. But this is just what great writing does to you, man. You can start an episode off being like, Eric, what are you doing to Butters? Oh, man, you're, you're messing with him again. I'm not happy that you're doing that. And at the end of the episode, you're like, for me, what I've just said, I'm like, ah, oh, man, did you really end up having to have to show them? Because Eric went through a bloody journey right there. But, um, yeah, the terrific as always. This was a fantastic episode. I, I really, I really do enjoy uh, episodes that are centered around uh, Cartman and Butters. Because I think they have a really good dynamic, you know, because they're completely on polar opposites of um, the scale of good and evil. So them coming together kind of makes things work. It's almost like a yin and yang type thing uh, is what I kind of get from it. But yeah, top tier episode, um, a top 10 possibility with this one. I've seen so many good episodes that I can't really just say that it's in a top 10 without um, revisiting some of the old ones and being like, this is better or not. But this was good. I really did enjoy it. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy it too. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing if you want. Like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.